Hey guys, Mike Linares here, and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we start today's video, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our cool nifty new study guides not here on YouTube. Click the link right up here at any time during this video. All right guys, let's begin. So to wrap up PVD versus PAD, guys, here we go. The basics is veins vacuum blood back to the heart, right? And arteries push oxygen away from the heart. The problem here is narrowed vessels. So PVD, we get pools of fluid in the legs where we can't vacuum back to the heart. And in PAD, blood can't be pushed away into the legs. So for our signs and symptom, let's use our acronyms. For PVD, our vein problem, we use the acronym VEINY. V for voluptuous pulses and warm legs, E for edema, I for irregularly shaped sores, N for no sharp pain, more of a dull pain because we have oxygen. Y is for yellow and brown ankles, remember the ankles. PAD, the artery problem, think arts for artery. A for absence of pulses and hairless legs, also cold legs. T for toes and feet that are pale or black, called eschar. Lastly, S, which is our biggest NCLEX tip here, sharp pain from exercise and elevation, like in a recliner chair. Guys, write this down, circle this, highlight it, do whatever you can, tell your grandmother this. Write this down, it's called intermittent claudication from low oxygenation. Now, as far as positioning, you want to V, elevate those legs in DVT, and in this case, PVD. You want to vacuum back to the heart. And A, for the arteries, you want to hang that leg off the bed. Because guys, PAD, put the arteries down. Now for treatment, we use the acronym C and T. We're trying to avoid CT. So all the C's, guys, constrictions like crossing the legs, constrictive clothing, cigarettes, caffeine, and cold temperatures, guys. Avoid all of these. And T, toenails are only trimmed by the doctor. Huge NCLEX tip. And guys, this goes for PVD, PAD, and even diabetics. Only the doctor trims those ugly nails. So let's wrap up DVT, deep vein thrombosis, a blood clot in the deep veins, usually in one leg. So remember the acronym COWS, because one leg blows up like a baby cow. C for calf pain and cramping. It often starts in the calf, and it usually feels like a cramping or a soreness. O is for one-sided swelling. That's a huge classic sign. I would highlight that. Unilateral swelling. And since the clot usually only affects one leg, well then it can't be PAD and it can't be PVD, so that's how you know the difference. W is for warm and red since the vein has a clot. Guys, the arteries are still pumping that oxygen, still pumping that blood. And lastly, S is for shortness of breath and chest pain. This is not a DVT problem, this is the most severe problem, a clot in the lungs called a pulmonary emboli, a PE. Very deadly, guys. Call the doctor immediately if the patient's complaining of chest pain with this unilateral swelling. Now for treatment for a DVT, we got a clot, guys, in the legs. It's like a ticking time bomb, and if it breaks loose, then it's going straight to the lungs and they kill the patient, right? So guys, this is called a PE, a pulmonary emboli, a clot in the lungs. So we wanna prevent this. So remember the acronym DVT. D for don't walk, we're only doing bed rest. We don't want to loosen that clot. V for venous return of the blood. We want to elevate the leg with DVT. And T for teaching clot prevention, but guys, we're only doing these things after the clot is resolved. So again, after the clot is resolved, we teach chat. C for calf exercises, H for hydration, A for ambulation, N for no long sitting like a car, airplane, or even bed rest. And T for TED and SCDs. But guys, again, after the clot is resolved. If you guys do these things during a clot, it's gonna break that clot loose, going straight to the lungs. And last but very not least, burger disease is known for its cold feet. So guys, remember B for bare feet. And R for Renaud's disease, think cold fingers. So think R for ring fingers. All right, guys, that wraps up our wrap up here. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right guys, see you next time.